Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number five, the stock feed system. Another important procedure that you will need to perform regularly as an operator of the New Britain Automatic Bar Machine is the disassembly, assembly, and adjustment of the stock feed system. This tape will show you how to perform these tasks. As an operator, you will be required to reload the machine when it has run out of stock. To do this, slide the stock reel tube back. Put the stock release lever in the restock position. Wipe off the stock with a rag. And then, feed the stock through the stock reel and through the stock guide bushing in the pusher. You may need assistance to assure that the stock is aligned with the stock guide bushings. Now tap the bar towards the spindle and through the feed fingers. Return the stock release lever to the run position. There will be times when you will have to remove the pusher while there is still stock in the pusher. To remove the pusher, slide the stock reel tube back. Release the pusher by placing the stock release lever in the restock position. The pusher can now be removed. The stock can now be removed from the pusher. The feed fingers must be replaced if they are cracked, worn, or broken. Secure the feeder tube in a vise. Be sure to use some protective measures to prevent the vise jaws from damaging the feed tube. The feed fingers can now be removed from the feed tube. The feed fingers have left-hand threads. Replace with feed fingers of the proper size for stock. Tighten securely with a spanner wrench. The stock guide bushing is located on the other end of the pusher. To remove it, loosen the set screw with an Allen wrench. and replace it with a stock guide bushing that is 1 32nd to 1 16th inch larger than the stock size. Secure the bushing by tightening the Allen set screw. Wipe the pusher clean and insert it into the spindle. Return the stock release lever to the run position. The amount of stock being fed into the machine is determined by the stock feed cam, the feed adjustment nut and the position of the cam roller. The larger the cam that is used, the more stock that can be fed out. As the cam drum turns, the cam forces the roller of the stock feed slide to move back and forth. Before changing the stock feed cam, you must release the trip rod actuating collar. To remove the stock feed cam, loosen the Allen screws. You may need to hand crank the machine to reach all the large Allen screws holding the cam. This roller is connected to the feed adjusting nut. Fine adjustments of the stock feed can be made by loosening the feed adjusting nut and by sliding it back or forward. A scale on the slide helps to gauge your adjustments. The out of stock mechanism tells the operator when the machine is out of stock in spindle position 6. It does this by having the stock feed shoe engage the trip rod actuating collar, which slides back to activate the cycle off switch and out of stock light. To adjust the out of stock mechanism, insert the feed tube into position 6, 
with the stock removed. And the trip rod actuating collar is loosened with the set screw. With the stock feed slide all the way back, slide the trip rod actuating collar forward until it touches the back of the stock feed return shoe. Hand crank the machine so that the stock feed slide is forward. Then push the trip rod actuating collar forward about one eighth inch and lock down the collar by tightening the set screw. With the out of stock mechanism properly adjusted, the switch will engage when stock is no longer in the feed fingers of position six. The out of stock light will come on and the machine will stop at the end of cycle. You are now ready to adjust the stock stop. This must be done with care to get the exact amount of feed. The stock stop is adjusted by loosening the two holding bolts on the stock stop bracket. Take a measurement from the outside of the cutoff blade to the inside of the stock stop and move the stop backward or forward. Fine adjustments can be made by turning this adjusting screw. You can check your measurement by pushing a bar of stock into the stock stop. When the proper amount of feed is achieved, lock down the holding bolts on the stock stop. This completes your training tape on the stock feed system. You may watch this tape as many times as you need to understand the information. When you are finished, return to the operator's booklet.